Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here for the first time, welcome to Vlogmas. I have been posting a video every single day in December and we still have plenty of time left. If you like plus size fashion videos, if you like makeup videos, if you like subscription box unboxings, if you like watching Trina accidentally make a fool of herself in a vlog video, <laughs> then do subscribe because I am having the best time filming for Vlogmas and I would love it if you wanted to stick around. So in today's video I am doing a haul from one of my favourite places to haul and that is H&M. H&M is a shop that I discovered in 2020. I'd never shopped there for clothes before in my life. I didn't know that they did plus size and I didn't know that they had such a range of plus size. Their stuff seems to be more sort of sleek kind of traditional clothing but just like really nice quality pretty clothing. I found some gorgeous pieces from H&M this year and my favourite H&M find is their headbands. I will talk about headbands at the end of this video because I did buy five. If you are new here, I live in headbands. <laughs> they are my favourite thing but I never used to be able to wear them because I get migraines really easily and I've got a rather large head so headbands give me headaches really quickly apart from H&M, so they're the only headbands that I can wear for a reasonable amount of time before I get a headache. So I'll show you the headbands that I got at the end, but we'll start off with this beautiful dress. So this dress I picked up in a 4XL. H&M sizing is in a 1, 2, 3, 4XL kind of, um, style rather than a number. So it's always worth checking out um, what size they recommend you are. I think you can put your measurements in and it tells you per item which size you should go for. So I went for this in a 4X. I'm usually between a 3X and a 4X. Sometimes I'm a 2XL. Uh, sometimes a 4 doesn't fit. You know, sizing is just super fun. <laughs> but this one is in a 4XL and it is beautiful. It's a lovely black sort of sheer material with some pretty white flowers on. I love the long sleeves where you've got the sort of sheer material continuing. I've got a bobble in my hand. <laughs> and then the elasticated cuff. I think it's a really nice length. It fits me really well. This is the right size for me because it's not an elasticated waist. So this is definitely the right size for me. It has got sort of a chest where it's sewn in underneath where your boobs sort of are and I normally struggle with those because it's really difficult to like know what size chest someone has but luckily this fits for me but it's just something to bear in mind if you're a lot bigger or a lot smaller than me this might be a bit tight or a little bit saggy do you know what I mean let me come a bit closer can you see how they're sort of stitched in underneath where your boobs sit <laughs> I really like the v-neck it comes to the perfect point it's not like revealing anything and I can bend over and nothing falls out so I really like the way it fits on my chest let me show you the back it's just really pretty and flowy nicely fitted at the top and then flowy at the bottom I really really like this so this is a great start for me so this is the next item and funnily enough it appears <laughs> to be the same pattern as the last dress but a completely different style and a completely different fabric just the same sort of design of the fabric so that's quite funny I think so anyway <laughs> I picked this up in a 4x it is more of a sort of straight down dress with a drop hem it's got a more sort of uh, puffy sleeve elasticated at the cuff and then it's got this fun frill detail. I'll show you the back because it has a little peephole tie at the top. Now this material is more of a sort of rougher texture, a bit more of a crinkle feeling. Let me see if you can pick up the texture on camera. I'm not sure if you will but it's just a little bit more of a rough texture and I have to say I much much prefer the first dress for me this drop hem is just in the worst place where I'm sort of the biggest so it means that it's just a bit tight and when I sit down it's going to be really quite tight on my stomach so this one isn't for me the first one definitely is but that's good because who wants to keep two different dresses with the same exact pattern <laughs> So it's worked out for me that I want to keep one and not the other. It is a nice dress, it's just not the kind of shape that I like for myself. The next item that I picked to try is this sort of bright mustard yellow trench coat. And I, 
I just, I don't get it. So I got this in a 4XL, so it fits just fine. Like I could do it up and it's not a problem. Waistband is probably a tiny bit smaller than I'd want it to be, but I don't get it because it's so, so thin that I, 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 I'm really, really confused. It's like the thinnest kind of shirt material. So I just don't get, I don't know. I just don't think it, I don't think it looks right. Like I love the color and the design and the shape and everything, the length. I just wish it was thicker. I don't understand what this is for. I don't know. This isn't, this isn't for me. This isn't what I expected it to be. I expected it to be a bit more thick, a bit more of a like jacket, but not, not super thick, but a bit thicker than this, at least lined, like, I don't understand. I don't, am I just misunderstanding? Is this what it's meant to be? Um, and I just don't know what I'm talking about because yeah, I don't know. I love the color so much. I really, really wanted to like this, but I just, I just don't get it. Can you, can you explain? Can someone help me in the comments? Because yeah, I don't think this is going to be a keeper. Now this is more like it. This is more what I was looking for. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous jacket. It is a green that I've just never had anything in. It's like a muted green. I can't explain what it is, but it's beautiful. I love this so much. Like if you're going out to dinner and you had a nice dress on and you just wanted to put something on whilst you go to the restaurant, I love this. This is so unique to anything that I have. Like I'm only just getting into blazers. It's really new to me. But this feels a bit more than a blazer. It feels more like in between a blazer and a jacket in terms of the weight of it. The sleeves are an okay length. They're a little bit too long for me, but in comparison to some of the sleeves we've seen recently, <laughs> I did get this in a 4X and it fits me just fine. It wouldn't do up, but it doesn't have that option anyway. And I kind of like with this kind of jacket, I want a bit of my dress peeking through. So it's kind of the perfect fit for what I'm looking for. I like the color of the lining. I know that's a weird thing to say, but I think they've chosen a really good lining to go with the green. It feels like a really good quality. It obviously needs a little bit of an iron. <laughs> and I was about to get angry that there was no pockets, but I realized it's one of those where there's stitching that you just need to take out. I just told Adam and he was like, that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard of. He's never heard about this, but obviously most of us women have encountered this before. So there is pockets. I just need to take out the stitching um, to be able to access them. I think it's a really nice length. I really, really like how it looks at the back. This is not me. <laughs> this is not me at all, but I like it. You'll have to let me know because I don't know, it's, I, I think it's cute. Do you think this is cute? Because, I don't know, I kind of like it. <laughs> so this is the last clothing item and I am head over heels in love with this jumper. I, I, <laughs> I am so, 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 so obsessed. I got this in a 3XL and I'm very glad that I did. It is so soft and beautiful. It's got such a stretch to it. It's it's just, I don't know what this material is, but it's so nice. It's, um, it's 41% polyester, 4% acrylic, and 3% wool. Yeah, it is super soft, super stretchy, but not clingy at all. It's really nice and warm, but it's not too thick. It's got a really nice cuff and then a puffy sleeve, but not too puffy. And also, I'm sorry, but it's got little pearl beads around the neck that continue on the back. What? <laughs> I am so, so obsessed. It comes to the perfect point for me. I like my dresses to, uh, dresses. I like my jumpers to sort of sit on my hips. And I think this would be gorgeous over different dresses. I I don't want to take this off. I don't want to take this off. Oh, guys, this is the softest, coziest thing I have ever owned. And it's so pretty. I just love these beads on the neck. I, I love this. This is 
This is my favourite thing so far. I'm so in love. I'm so, so in love. Now to finish off this haul, I've got a couple of headbands to show you. This is the first one. I have got so many headbands in this style from H&M. I'll show you a close up so you can see. But I just didn't have a bright red headband for Christmas. So I thought I needed to pick this up for sure. It's got a really nice stretchy band, as I was saying before. So these really don't give me a headache. And then it's got like a nice top bow on the top. So I thought this would be beautiful for Christmas. This is the next headband and it's a beautiful golden band with gold flowers over the top. Again, it's got quite a stretchy headband piece. This one does give me a bit of a headache a bit more quickly. I have been wearing this one, I'm not gonna lie. But again, nothing in comparison to headbands from other brands. The one thing to be warned about this one is your hair gets caught in it really easily. The amount of times I've had to untangle this over my head, um, out of my head in the past few days so just be careful with that but I think it is just absolutely gorgeous and so so stunning and different to anything that I have I didn't have any metal headbands before this so that's the kind of been the focus of the headbands that I picked in this haul but this is just stunning I love this so much then continuing with the metal theme I got this headband which has sort of got two pieces on that's like got these little jewels in as you go across. I haven't tried this one yet but it looks super pretty and I like that it's a bit more of a dainty metal headband but it's still going to make a statement because of the like shimmery glowy beautifulness and the fact that there's sort of two pieces to it. So again it feels a little bit tighter than one of the fabric headbands would but you'd expect that with it being metal but again I think it's going to be beautiful. Then I picked up this metal headband that has the more black jewels across the top and I just think the black with the gold is an absolute statement. I think this is going to be so pretty for the festive period. This one is a little bit more looser in the band so hopefully isn't going to give me a headache too quickly at all and I just think it's so beautiful. I really really like the black sort of gems across the top and the different shapes in the gems as well. So very excited for this one. And then lastly, this will go perfectly with what I'm wearing. I didn't pick it for that reason because I'm not that well thought through, but I thought that this sort of pearl beaded headband would be beautiful. It's super stretchy. I'm gonna put it on because I think it'll match this jumper. Oh yes. <laughs> so pretty oh my goodness and it doesn't feel like I've got anything on my head at all I think this could be worn all day no problem and oh, am I not looking cute is this the cutest I've ever looked potentially <laughs> I am in love with this combo so that is everything that I've got to try for today it's been a bit of a different haul for me I'm normally quite dress heavy in my hauls but we've had a couple of different things we had some dresses we had some jackets this gorgeous jumper and some headbands and I've really enjoyed trying some different things out today I am keeping the first dress the green coat this jumper and all of the headbands so I'm only sending two things back so that's quite good for me <laughs> I am head over heels with this jumper you will probably see this quite a lot over winter because I just feel like I'm gonna live in it it is beautiful I love it. <laughs> You'll have to let me know in the comments down below what your favourite thing was from today's haul. And let me know your thoughts on that yellow trench coat because I'm still very, very confused. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, if you could give it a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. And if you've enjoyed what you've seen, if you want to stick around and see more, just press subscribe. I would love, love, love you to join my wonderful family over here on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.